Hello friends, uh, welcome to my fourth lecture. Uh, previously, we have learned uh, about how to cut, copy, paste and uh, different type of fonts, the formatting uh, formatting of texts. Now we'll be learning about uh, the alignments, the center, left, right alignment, wrap text and margin center in this lecture. OK, so without wasting much of the time, let's let me share my screen and show you my Excel sheet. OK, so uh, this is this is the actual sheet that I'll be referring to again. OK, now. We have learned about this section, clipboard, the font section. The turn is for the alignment section, okay? So alignment means how the texts are aligned, right? Uh, so let me let me write any text. Like say, for example, I have written here study box, right? The, my, my, the name of my channel. Let me just do this a bit, okay? So this is, this is my channel name I have written over here. Uh, okay, I have did this for a reason, you'll understand. So, Let's let's learn the alignments. This is uh, currently left alignment. Now I need to do right alignment. Then again the center alignment. Now these are these are very important. Uh, though we do not use much, but if you start using this, um, this will make your sheet uh, presentable. At the moment, it it doesn't look uh, too presentable, right? So what what top alignment is? What top align is? See, it it has went to the top. What is the middle alignment? It is into the middle. And what's the bottom alignment? This this comes to the bottom, right? Now, now if I do this, see this looks presentable, right? So you understand all the alignments. Now, what is what is wrap text? Okay. Say for example, I'm I'm writing here. I'm writing here. My name is my name is Nabind Kumar, and my channels and my channels channels name is study box okay so if you see this this is center line let's just do the center uh, left alignment it goes beyond this cell so whenever whenever you are writing a text which does not fit into uh, fit into a single cell all right what you can do either you can expand this Either you can expand this, this is also possible, or the best way of doing this is using wrap text, right? Whenever you are, you are choosing this wrap text to make it more presentable, let's expand it a bit. And what the middle alignment, right? So it arranges itself. So what wrap text is, you wrap the text, that's it. Nothing more than that. Whenever, a tax, uh, whenever the text overflows, you use the wrap text and this will this will create the uh, this will this will solve all your issues okay so let's learn the shortcuts as well i have told you alt key is the is the strongest key which i feel into my keyboard now how do i do the wrap text wrap text right uh, do, 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 do. let me do this okay now say for example if i click alt okay h is for home h now for wrap text if you click w c it has wrapped my text again alt h w so the wrap text right so to wrap text you use the shortcut alt h w now for the center alignment for the alignments let learn let let learn for the alignments okay alt h a c for the center alignment sorry alt h a c now this is center alignment right now if you want the right alignment alt h what is for the right alignment c it is written over here a r okay Again, I'll do the left alignment, Alt, H, and for the left alignment, AL, right? To do, this is done. So you remember I told you in the uh, second lecture, I guess, Excel, Excel itself teaches Excel, okay? So this is the best example. Now I'll delete this, okay? This is arranged, cool? Okay, uh, let's just arrange this one more time, center alignment, done, okay? Now, what's the use of merge and center? Say, for example, this, this particular sheet is for like errors, like, right? Lines reviewed, errors found, error percent. And, and suppose this is a monthly error report. And no, and now you want the daily error report. So how do I do that? What I'll do, like, uh, say, for example, I've typed in a date 14 September 2021, okay? And I need these three, for the 15th September as well, for the 16th as well, and so on, right? So 15 September 2021, 
now 16 september 2021 okay alt h o i this expands uh, the uh, the headers alt h o i this expands the sheet okay now if you see this i am unable to differentiate whether this is also for 14 september or not so i'll i'll divide this into sections how do i do that so 14 i've, I've just selected this okay click on margin center again just just do this click on margin center click on margin center so this is differentiated like you can say this is for 14 september this section is for 14 september this section is for 15 and this is for 16 so to divide into sections we use margin center we'll do a bit of formatting the background color uh, we have already learned font color we have already learned bold these are the things that we have already learned if we if we just select all this click on double click on format printer see the use a format printer right now this looks a bit presentable i'll just delete this okay now if you see this the designation these these cells are blank and it doesn't look good right so to make it look good what i'll do i'll again use margin center see margin center I'll, what i'll do i'll do the margin center what i'll do i'll do the margin center right now what i'll do to make to make it presentable let's have borders in it okay let's have borders in it alt h b a you already know the shortcuts this is center alignment so the this is this is the use of uh, use of uh, wrap text merge in center and the common alignments Th this was this was pretty basic and i'm sure you will go and practice all of those and you will the, the, the these are the things that should uh, that should be at your uh, fingertips you should be like pretty fast in doing all this you have the shortcuts alt h w for for um, for um, uh, wrap text for merge in center c alt h For margin center, what I'll be doing? M, Alt H, M. If if you want to do the margin center, just click C. Right? This is done. So for margin center, Alt H, M, C. This is done. Okay? So for margin center, you have a shortcut. For wrap text, you have a shortcut. For the alignment center, left, uh, right alignment, you all have the shortcut. Go and practice this. And uh, I'll, I'll, what I'll what I'll teach you in the next lecture will have. the number of formats this is very very important so stay tuned and yes do not forget to subscribe and like all my lectures thank you so much have a great day